Alright, welcome to Sports Everybody. We're coming live with this one that goes out to Andrew Bubbler Dean and uh, little Gabby Jones to celebrate today. She's our miracle baby, folks. She's six years old today. Congratulations. Well, the Crusaders Invitational Basketball Tournament is 42 years old and today the Granddaddy World Tournament was officially open on campus. The introduction of the Crusaders basketball players was exciting for the student body. The Crusaders will make a run at winning the 42nd edition of the Christmas Invitational Tournament. Student bright-eyed and ready for some competitive basketball. All in honor of Coach Glastonbury McPhee, the founder of the Crusaders tournament and well-deserving, says Peter Adley. He's been a father, he's been a champion, and he's truly a living legend and a national hero. He has given far more than he will ever receive, and it is fitting but after 40 plus years of this tournament, the trophy will be named in his honor. Coach McPhee, I love you and I thank you for all that you've done. Wayne Carey played for Coach and today and Morris' love for the game and his players. What I've learned from Coach Moore is longevity. 30 years ago, I came in contact with him and to this day, he is still doing the same thing. And Coach, I want you to know that we love you we honor you. We can never, ever, ever repay you for what you have done. Bombers Basketball Federation President Charlie Selefty Rubin said Moon pushed him and he's a better person today. They can talk with Buddy. They can talk with John Crow. They can talk with Green K. But this is the man that Coach McPhee made. Brother. Thank you, Coach. I love you. Sharing the moment of unveiling the trophy, wife Daisy, very special for Coach McPhee. His message to the Crusaders, one game at a time and never say die. Stay on course, Crusaders. Beat one game at a time. And so, once again, I say thank you all. And we never say die. Crusaders never say die. And we believe in that. Thank you very much. The future basketball stars of tomorrow will wait their turn to suit up for the Crusaders. 42 years of basketball, 42 years of friendship, and 42 years of a tradition. Congrats all around, Crusaders. And the primary school basketball championship completed uh, the Jimmy Gunn Combo Keith Mullings League and Freeport Gospel Girls defeated West End 44-2 uh, in the consolation game. As for the boys, Maurice Moore defeated Mary Star 10-9. The championship game, Walter Park, the primary girls defeated Lewis Yard 7-6 for the win. And Veronica Hanna, she had six points and named the MVP. And Dimitri Wall, three points in the loss. As for the boys, Walter Parker did it again, folks. Defeated Freeport Gospel 19 at 17. Walter Parker, Keanu Roll at 10 points and got the MVP award. And Freeport Gospel, Stefano Saunders at 6 points of losing cause. The Pacers also held a celebration assembly today. Congrats, guys. You got the boys and girls basketball title. Also, the Churchill Knowles are max meeting a high school softball play. St. George's uh, senior boys defeated Jack Hayward 15 to 11 to win that title. MVP award went to Dwayne Gale. And the senior girls semifinals, it was uh, St. George's defeating Bishop Michael L. 10 to 9 was that score. And I got to say to the folks over there at Walter Parker Primary, congratulations for you guys winning both boys and girls. They're going to have a big celebration next year. Let's look at your sports tonight.